Good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Perfect. Hi. How are you, Manuel? I'm what fine. happened? To, what I'm happened good. to your glasses? <laughs> One day you have glasses, another day you don't have glasses. Manuel. Okay, teacher. Yes, it's a good. It's a good uh, question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, uh, thank you. I wish I was like you. I wish yes, I were. Like you. Yeah, I, was yes, now. I need. I need. I need. I need to use uh, glasses. Because, so do I. Uh, yes. I so, so uh, no. Uh, yesterday, yes. Yesterday uh, in the what do you say? Mediodía. At noon. At noon. Thank you. Uh, I. 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 Lo llevé. I took them. Uh, okay, thank you. I took them to the to the optic mm -hmm. because uh, I I had a exam in my in my vision and the uh, the optometry said me uh, told me <laughs> that told me I don't know uh -huh. uh, Manuel you you need more graduation in your glasses. Ah uh, yes teacher yeah. and, and well I I I left my my glasses because, my glasses because uh, los aros what do you say the aros? rings uh -huh. the ring uh, it's the mm -hmm. same it's okay. same it's the same yeah okay the 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 rims uh, are are almost new mm, okay in, in, in one in in one year and a half uh, my glasses uh, need need more graduation. Uh, oh, uh, that's, this, little, uh, that's just a short amount of time. Yeah, teacher. So mm -hmm. I I that's why I uh, I I'm going to use uh, my my uh, the my my rings, mm -hmm. but but the glasses yes. Uh, uh, how, how frames sorry uh, I, I meant frames el aro yeah. de lentes frames, frames. yeah teacher mm, that's yes. the one i did, I, uh -huh. I did see you in <laughs> other time yes, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. uh, because when i when i read uh, in the in the box of mm -hmm. the, the 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 glasses Glass frames frames frame frames frame, frame. Mm -hmm. okay yeah uh, that's the one yes i i i'm going to use the, the same frames but so you're waiting glasses, for them yes mm -hmm. yes yesterday i left in the optic in all the right optic. what about you Olga? how are you good evening teacher i can barely see you Olga. i, I only see your 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 what do you say <laughs> <laughs> there you go <laughs> Yeah, just your four <laughs> friends. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Manuel. Hello, good evening. How are you doing, evening. Olga? I'm fine, but I'm tired a little bit. Okay, you're understandable. Especially because <laughs> it's been Pretty raining tired. all day, right? It's been a rainy day, so you feel like you want to be in bed and don't go to work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you work from home, Olga? Uh, I work in San Salvador. Oh, okay. So you have to yeah. go. You go. You have to physically go to the office or to your location. No. Or do you work from home? No. I work in office. Okay. Physical. Yeah. Physical office. All right. Yeah. Hi, Juan de Dios. Hi, Cristia. How are you? Hello, me. Hi, what happened to you yesterday, Christian? I was very sick, miss, but oh, dear I forgot <laughs> to advise. I'm really sorry because I forgot. I forgot advice. Oh, I love so... your nails, Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they look really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank nice. you. Miss. Are you feeling better now? Yes. Um. I think it's because for, uh, for medicines, mm. I get better, but 
but all day I I felt bad. bad. All yes. right. Well, luckily you are feeling better. That's I'm glad to hear that, Christian. Now I'm glad to Thank see you. you again in class. Juan de Dios, how are you? <laughs> Where is your camera, Juan de Dios? Juan de Dios, are you there? You just connected and you left. <laughs> All right, let's go with Wendy. How are you, Wendy? I'm fine and I'm very happy because Perfect. <laughs> today, today is my birthday. My birthday. Oh, really? <laughs> happy birthday. Yes. Happy birthday yes. to you. Yes. Happy birthday, Wendy. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Okay. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah. For us, for us. Celebrating with classes. <laughs> nice. For, for class. <laughs> yes. Remember, after 30, you are no longer, you're not older than 30. <laughs> after 30. After 30, you are not longer, not, not older 40. than 30. Wait, no, 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 no. 40. No, 30 is the new, yes. is the new 20s. <laughs> 30 is the I, new 20. Yes, I, I think say, that means I say, that 30 is the new 20. I say mm -hmm. my age. <laughs> yeah, that's fine with me. I but... like my, my age. Because you look younger, Boy, that's why you like 41. it. <laughs> 41. When you look, when you, look <laughs> you see, because you don't look 41, that's why you like to say it. Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for some reason... People is taking longer to connect to my class tonight. Lo tomo, pero me ofende. <laughs> but we're going to start with the ones that are here tonight. Remember, we are going to be practicing random conversation questions at the beginning of each class to practice improvising your English, right? Improvising, not necessarily speaking the tense that we're studying that day, but the English that you know and use normally, right? So for tonight, we have a very common topic, <laughs> okay? We're gonna be talking about working from home, right? As you know, many employees are you now allowed to work from home. So in your opinion, guys, what are the advantages of working from home? And I'm gonna place the question in the chat. What are the advantages of working from home in your opinion? Okay, teacher. Please don't tell me that you can be in pajamas. That's not acceptable. <laughs> yes, teacher. Hey, money. <laughs> hey, teacher, uh, mm -hmm. the most of, of of companies, I don't know if if around the world, but in El Salvador, for example, in my in my work, uh, the ninety percent of employees or employer employees mm -hmm. employees uh -huh. employees. They, they work in, in home uh, after, during and after the pandemic, mm -hmm. uh, anybody uh, go to the, to the office? Nobody or, goes to the office. Nobody. Uh -huh. Nobody, nobody. No, no, uh -huh. nobody uh -huh. goes, goes to the office. Mm -hmm. uh, and they, and they, when I, when I have the opportunity to talk to talk with with uh, some some someone, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, uh, the the they told me this uh, advantage because uh, save 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 time mm -hmm. and uh, they they more opportunity uh, to to think. Oh, there. Okay, they save time. That could be one advantage. Wendy, please. Thank advantage. you, Manuel. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Wendy? My opinion is the um, advantage. advantage. Um, uh, what, what the employees uh, ha, has, how? <laughs> mm -hmm have children or for example how help help uh, his or her children okay with, with homework or okay uh, 
see the activities of children. Okay, um, to supervise the children. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. All and right. All their activities in home. Correct. Very good. Thank you, Wendy. Christia, please. Okay, I think it's a very good way to save money. Uh, in my case, I work in airport. Uh, so in some case, I, I, I try to get the, the work transportation, but it's very early to get the transportation. So I prefer to get my, my, my own car and drive, uh, but the airport is so far. <laughs> I <laughs> think it's far. Yes, uh, it is. And, and, and for me, it's a good way to save money because the 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 gas gas station. The gas. I don't know mm -hmm. the gas. The gas. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the food and and save time, and you feel better when you are in the home because the travel travel to work to my house is very tired for me mm -hmm. yes that's true. Only, it's tiring. Only the travel is tired yeah that's true so your your answer is similar to what Juan de Dios was mentioning that we save money right also when we work from home that's true yeah thank you Christia let's go with Tatiana please yes teacher uh, I think uh, you don't have to be on traffic because it's very stressful when the when your work when your job is very is far to to your house, you have to be at least a uh, one hour on traffic, and that is very stressful. Um, you can share with your your son or your children because you are at home, so. It, when when you are a, a mom or or dad, that is mm -hmm. an advantage for for in my case for me. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, you you can you can cook your own food and it's better than the, the cafeteria and correct things like that is better when you are in your home. That is true. Thank you. All right, so now the last question in this open topic will be, can you think of any disadvantages of working from home? Okay, because not everything is pink, right? Not everything is pink in color, right? So what disadvantages can you think about working from home? Christian? I think one of disadvantages is because in my always in my case, uh, I work with the operation center and the operation people. Uh, so when I need some some information, the people ignore my 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 Request. emails or my <laughs> request, and <laughs> and sometimes for me is very um okay. <laughs> uh -huh. I need for for right now the information uh -huh. and and if I I been in my work I think it's easier because I only walk to talk with people uh -huh. so, and and for me is one of the bigger bigger disadvantage. Uh -huh. All right, that's a good that's a good point. Disadvantage: people ignore your emails <laughs> because they don't see you physically. They take yeah, the time. I feel bad. <laughs> I'm used to that in my office. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. <laughs> what about um, Tatiana? I think after three or or four weeks, weeks you feel bored <laughs> to be <laughs> at home yeah, yeah. because I have to take my break in the in the living room. <laughs> I go from and, the living room to my room. To and the then I have to go to the <laughs> to the to the room. So and it, sometimes it, to the kitchen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. You know the, there it, has been a lot of cases. Going, yeah. Sometimes it could get boring. You know there have been a lot of cases around the world, not just in El Salvador, but around the world of people getting depressed because they have to stay at home working from home it makes them be 
depressed, makes them feel depressed. I don't think that's the case with Salvadorians. <laughs> I, for some reason, we don't suffer from depression. <laughs> But in other countries, for people that has to stay at home or working from home, they do get depressed after being, as Dina was mentioning, three or four weeks after being at home, they start to get depressed. All right. So very good, everyone who participated. Very articulate, good intonation. You were using the correct pronunciation and the grammar that you already have. So very nice. Thank you. Okay. So right now, we're going to go to the student's manual. Let me share the screen with you. There is a conversation that we saw at the beginning of the week, but we only saw it briefly. We only saw it once. Okay, so we're going to read it right now. I'm going to need one person to be Chris and one person to be Ricardo. And we're going to review this conversation again. And there are going to be two rounds. Again, the last time we saw it, we saw it really fast. So we didn't practice it a lot. So. We're going to have two rounds right now. Um, Tatiana, you will read Chris. And Christia, you can read Ricardo, please. OK. Do we start again? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to be Chris. Mm -hmm. OK. Uh, I have been reading a lot of about identity thief online for the past a few days. A financial specialist asked banks how they plan to solve the issue with the identity thief or thief. Theft. Theft. Mm -hmm. uh, what's that anyway? Identify theft? Identity. Oh, I see you. Identify theft? Oh. I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get to your money. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked they asked me what my password was. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever, don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent me an email asking what site I used to store my credit card information. I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Very good. Thank you so much, ladies. And now we need two more people to read the same conversation, the last round we're reading, okay? We need two Me more too. volunteers. Okay, Me Manuel, too. you're going to be Chris, and Jorge, you're going to read Ricardo, please. Okay. Uh, I have been reading a lot about identity theft online for the past few days. A financial specialist asked banks how they planning to solve this issue with identity theft? What's that anyway? You're in mute, honey. George, are you there? <laughs> the You're in mute. The microphone, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Identify theft. Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information or your credit card number. And there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get to your money. Oh, I didn't know they could do that. Someone, someone, someone recently asked me what my my password was. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent me an email asking what sites I used to store my credit card information, I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Very good. 
Thank you, everyone who participated. Okay, vocabulary. Um, issue, it's a problem. Issue, it's the same as saying problem, all right? Issue. Identity theft or theft, you can hear it like those, uh, like put the two versions. You can say theft or theft, both are correct. Okay. Okay. And then let's see if there is anything else of vocabulary. Miss? Yes. What's mean thieves? And there thieves. are thieves. Thieves are the people that commit the theft. Theft is robo. Uh, and thieves are the, the ladrones, the ones that commit the crime, right? Uh, mm -hmm. This is the, the plural. Actual. Thieves is the plural oh. of thief. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. The Thank you. you doing is stole. Um, uh -huh. A steal is when they physically. It can be the same, right? A steal is like physically or not so, not so big things. And theft is usually when you don't realize, right? You don't realize that someone is taking from you. That's mm -hmm. theft. Mm -hmm. And then stealing is like you're very, you're very conscious that they're stealing, from you, <laughs> right? And that's the difference. And then I saw a verb in here that I wanted to share. Bet, apostar. I bet they want it. Yo apuesto que querían. Bet is the verb apostar. Okay. Querían volar la información. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. Have you ever received fishy emails, guys? Yes, a lot of time. <laughs> Have you ever received those one of those emails that say you won a million dollars in India or <laughs> in another yeah. part of the world? <laughs> What do you usually I, do when that happens? I, um, I delete this email. <laughs> Thank you, Christian. Tell me, Jorge. They offer me to win a car just <laughs> to, to go to, to get the car. Ah, uh, only that. <laughs> Simple. 2023. <laughs> this year, this year. <laughs> do you ever? Do you ever go along with people trying to contact you? Unless, alguna vez le han seguido la corriente. Have you ever followed the ideas with people? Have you ever played along? Yes, that happened to me yesterday, I think. Because <laughs> I, I, have, I have a friend from Colombia and we just, we just uh, uh, speak uh, sometimes or something like that or, or but, I, I, how, how can I say this? I didn't have the new, so uh, the number, the cell phone mm -hmm. number. So somebody wrote me and he, uh, that person told me it was my friend and I thought it was my friend. Mm -hmm. And I say, Andres, yes, I, I am Andres. And they start to, to ask me for, for money because he told me he was in the airport and I say, really? And I start to speak and and just say, wow. and, and after that he called me and I say, you don't sound like Andres, so ciao. <laughs> <laughs> ciao, bye. <laughs> okay, you get the expression. So you get, yes? What, what do you say, el colmo? That's, there is a there is an idiom for that one. Okay. I, I, I but I don't remember it right now. If I remember okay. it, I will let you know. Uh, I in the chat I wrote play along. Uh, I can okay. play along with somebody's game or with somebody's uh, spell. One day, okay. It's incredible, but one day uh, someone uh, sends, uh, sent me uh, about this 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 uh, email but in this case in my whatsapp but mm -hmm. my my surprise was is uh, the the picture of the uh, profile uh, really teacher it, it was my my ex uh, co-worker your same yeah, teacher. Worker, yes. Right? <laughs> yes, teacher. Really, and uh, a scam, a scam. He wanted yes. to scam you. Oh, okay, 
And they, the, the, the picture of, uh, for example, uh, Samantha. Hey, hello, Samantha. I type in, hello, Samantha. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, but when when the profile or the or the the person uh, behind this profile, hey Manuel, uh, uh, listen, uh, I I send a uh, um, uh, baggage uh, to the airport, and in 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 one of uh, baggage uh, are uh, ten ten thousand dollar. <laughs> ten, no, 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 one, not two, ten thousand dollars. <laughs> yes, uh, and uh, I, I, I think no, this is a scam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Picture. it looked like the yeah. photo of my ex compañera estaba. Se la había <laughs> oh, she had been hacked. <laughs> she had been hacked. That's crazy. Okay. It, unfortunately, it's very common here in, in well, in everywhere, not just here in everywhere, when I told, basically. When I told, in, uh, in, in, in Facebook to, the, mm -hmm. to, to my co-worker and they was uh, mm -hmm. she didn't even know probably right? uh -huh. this is my picture uh -huh. when, when he was in, in the airport well <laughs> that's that is the best example of identity theft right they were using your co-worker co-worker's picture and it was a different person. That's what we call identity theft. That's one example. It can be in different ways, right? So here's what we're going to do right now. We're going to watch a video. And I want you to pay attention to what, to everything they are saying. We're, we're only gonna watch it right now. And then we're gonna discuss it, all right? Bear with me for a minute. Then I want you to, after the video, I want you to tell me what, you thought about it what's your opinion do you agree do you disagree what do you think about it all right let me know when you're seeing the screen please yes yes okay yes. identity theft isn't just a case of account fraud where someone steals your credit card information when your identity is stolen a criminal can use your social security number to get a job rent an apartment or even take out a loan and do it all in your name. In some cases, criminals are even filing tax returns in victims' names and taking their tax refunds. A victim of identity theft could go months before they even notice that something strange is going on. The tip-off could be a past due notice in the mail or a phone call from a collection agency about debt that isn't theirs. By that point, a lot of damage could have been done. If you notice something wrong, the most important thing is to act quickly. Identity theft is becoming pretty common, but it's still a hard crime for authorities to track, so most victims have to be very proactive in getting their identity back under their control. Think about it this way. You're going to be your own best detective on the case. So let's go through the steps you'll need to take to get your finances and credit back under your control. The first step to take as soon as you suspect identity theft is to file what's called an initial fraud alert with a credit reporting agency. Businesses have to check your credit report to open new lines of credit. So if they see there's a fraud alert on your report, they may try to contact you to verify your identity before doing so, which will make it harder for a criminal to open a new account in your name. To file an alert, you can call one of the three major credit reporting agencies, Experian, Equifax, or TransUnion, and tell a representative that you're an identity theft victim and want to place an initial fraud alert on your file. It actually doesn't matter which one you call, because whichever one you choose is required to notify the other two. It's free, and the alert will stay on your account for 90 days. For even more protection, you might also want to put a credit freeze on file with all three credit reporting agencies. A credit freeze means that no creditors, like a bank or a business that offers store credit cards, can look at your report without your permission. This can make it harder for a criminal to open a new account in your name. You can lift a credit freeze at any time, or lift it temporarily so someone you authorize can look at your report. In most states, setting up a credit freeze is often free for victims of identity theft, or there may be a small fee, $10 or so. The length of a freeze also varies by state. You can visit your state's Attorney General's Office website for more details. 
To request a credit freeze, you'll need to contact each of the three credit reporting agencies. After you've set up an initial fraud report and put a credit freeze on file as well, the next step is to start going through your credit reports. Your initial fraud report allows you to get free access to your credit reports from the three credit reporting agencies. Contact each one for instructions on how to get a copy of your report. You can also do this when you set up your credit freeze. Look over each report carefully and note any detail that isn't yours. Then, before you dig into the problems you may find, you'll want to file an identity theft report to let federal and local authorities know about the crime. The report will help you get fraudulent info removed from your credit report and can stop businesses and collection agencies from coming after you for debts that aren't yours. Filing an identity theft report is a two-part process. First, you can file a report with the Federal Trade Commission. That's the government agency that looks out for consumers and helps protect them from fraud. You can do this online at ftccomplaintassistant.gov. Once you complete the report online, you'll get an FTC identity theft affidavit, which you can print for your records. Then you'll need to file a police report. You can do this in person at your local police precinct, or you may be able to do this online. It's a good idea to call ahead to see what kind of documents you'll need to bring with you to the station to prove your identity and complete the report. Once you make your report, ask for a copy and record the police report number. Your FTC identity theft affidavit and your police report together make a complete identity theft report. Now that you're armed with your identity theft report, you're ready to take on each fraudulent item you found in your credit report. For each fraud, you'll need to file a dispute with the fraud department of each credit reporting agency and contact any lenders or collection agencies involved. This part of the process can mean a lot of phone calls, and in some cases, it can take a lot of time. It's a good idea to keep a written record of each call you make, noting the date and time, as well as the name of each person you speak with and any instructions they give you so you can take the next steps. The FTC also has many helpful resources for this part of the process, like checklists and instructions for how to dispute different claims at ftc.gov. At this point, you can also place an extended fraud alert on file with each of the credit reporting agencies. An extended fraud alert is free and lasts for seven years. It will allow you to get two free copies of your credit report each year, so you can keep on top of any new suspicious activity. And one more thing. There are more credit reporting agencies than just the big three. There are also many smaller, local, or regional ones that could have reports of other fraudulent activity in your name. So it's a good idea to check your local listings for other agencies and file fraud alerts with them as well. Getting your life and your credit score back after an identity theft can be a challenge. Guarding your personal information carefully, especially your social security number, can help you avoid identity theft in the future. Did you mention, did you, did you notice how they say, how they pronounce theft? They say identity theft or theft, right? And they also did it with a death. I mean, never seen the laces in IF, it's really said theft, right? So either or, you can pronounce it as long as you pronounce the, uh, the theft, theft, right? Okay, there is a word that you saw in there that it's pronounced, he said affidavit. Do you know what is an affidavit, guys? It means declaración jurada. An affidavit, it's declaración jurada, right? So try to memorize it because you will say it in the future. <laughs> when you are signing papers or documents in English, you might as well have to sign one of those, okay? an affidavit. Okay, so what did you think about the video? I know they are not Salvadorian entities, but some of the steps are very similar to what we would do in El Salvador, right? So what did you get? What did you like? What did you not like? Do you agree? Do you not agree? What do you suggest? Let's see. Volunteers, let's raise the hand before we start. We can do it in order. Yes? Tatiana? In the meantime, I'm going to tell you, Manuel, I remember what is the idiom that I was going to tell you. Okay. The last straw. The last straw is an idiom that means I'm out of my patience. 
this is the limit, right? Okay. Fue la gota que rebalsó el vaso, the last Okay, throw. thank you, mm -hmm. this video. Okay, Good, let's hear, you. okay, I'm gonna, let's hear you talking about the video. What did you think of the video? Or what oh, you understood okay. or didn't? In general, uh, I, I, I don't remember Step, step of course, step. you're not going to remember everything. <laughs> That's for, the word. Yes, for me, it's a it's a it's a good information about uh, identity theft because in my in my um, okay, I I don't use my credit card uh, in this in for shop in for shop. Uh, in online no i don't know i i i use my credit card in when i go uh, to shop physical all right shop, yeah but um is is uh, some sometimes in 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 one of these online store mm -hmm. are a, a good offer yeah but i decide to know uh, uh, to not uh, buy in this in this uh, form mm -hmm. e even uh, when i need to when i when i want to 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 eat for example fast food and uh, i call the tele, tele operator but uh, I I don't I don't buy by my credit card. Okay. To avoid this. Avoid yes. Good. To avoid it. But <laughs> that's but, a good policy. Uh -huh. But uh, in for the for the more people, this is a excellent about fraud. But because the fraud, uh, because the identity theft, uh, is in. By it can happen. Way. It can happen anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yes, it can yes, happen in any yes, way. Yes. As you said, your friend, it, right? Yes. In general, it's a good. Mm -hmm. It's a. It's a. It's a good advice for other people. For everyone. Correct. Thank you, Manuel. Tatiana, please. Yes, teacher. Uh, the video uh, talk about the process when you when when somebody stole your your information and they explain how to do and what are the step or step by step when you you have to what you have to do when you when somebody stole your information because they were they talk about the credit card and the fraud alert and mm -hmm. basically is the is the process when you when you have a, no, a some transaction or something like that mm -hmm. correct very good thank you Tiana. um hold here please okay uh, i consider that that five advice there are are very good for people who lives in the U.S. Mm -hmm. But right now, uh, here in the country is kind of different. In one upon uh, time. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time. Once upon a time, uh, I remember uh, some someone buy with me with my credit card number. Pollo Campero and, <laughs> and pizza, but, but the, the way to, to me to, to, to know that this uh, issue are happening was, about, was uh, through the email. When you make a, when you buy a, whatever thing with your credit card, Mm -hmm. uh, when you make that, any transaction uh -huh. in that moment you receive in, in your phone an email and and message mm -hmm. that you are using the card using the card and you buy something mm -hmm. and that and definitely and you know they were salvadorians especially because they order <laughs> food <laughs> Right. Hello. Can you hear me? 
Yes, right okay. now, yes. All right. The, I the, the process uh, was to, to, to call to the, the bank to notify that this issue happened to me. Mm -hmm. Then well, uh -huh. I remember maybe two months before I mm -hmm. received the- Two the months later. Later, I refund mm -hmm. the, I received the refund of the money that- Two months from that money, <laughs> wow. Yes. Well, Barack was uh, in El Salvador, we know. <laughs> but, yeah, that's correct. I mean, the, the process is kind of similar, but it's not the same to what we do here in El Salvador, right? We don't have to file too many reports or anything. Usually we just call the entity, right? If it's a bank, we call the bank. If it's um, if it's a look, um, let's say a, a restaurant or something where we lost our card or we see the transaction, we call them and we check, right? But we don't have to do too many steps here in El Salvador. But yeah, the only problem is that it takes forever for people to solve, right? <laughs> for people yes. to solve your issues. But okay? in this case, it was only uh, $40 maybe, but- uh, Still $40, it's, it's a good amount of money. <laughs> but imagine if it's 1,000, there yeah. are a big problem. Yeah. yeah, that would be really bad. Um, all right. What we're gonna do, thank you for participating, everyone. I noticed that you did pay attention to what Duri was saying, especially to the details. So very good job with that. What you're going to do right now is that you're going to go to the breakout rooms and you're going to create a conversation with your partners in which you talk about examples or either it can be invented or it can be real life. You're gonna talk about examples of um, regarding identity theft. Like the example Manuel tell, told about his co ex coworker, right? Or like Jorge, just the one he just told us right now, or the one Tatiana told us, right? So you're going to put that into a conversation with your classmates in the breakout rooms and try to make sure to include at least one or two sentences using reported speech, right? Um, remember, for example, in this one, you see. This one, it, this person says, I have been reading a lot about identity theft online for the past few days. And he read a financial specialist asks banks how they planned to solve the issue with identity theft. That's one example, right? And another one says, someone recently asked me what my password was. That's also reported the speech. So we're gonna do the same right now. We're gonna go to the breakout rooms. We're going to create a conversation talking about personal experiences related to identity theft. And you can use reported speech whenever possible, right? So that you're gonna use it every time. But whenever possible, try to include a sentence in reported speech, right? Remember a conversation is both ways. The two or three people have to speak, not only one person has to say the word, right? So make sure to include everyone in the conversation and at least, every one of you have to mention one sentence in reported speech, okay? So the topic again, personal experiences or invented about identity theft, okay? I'm gonna open the rooms and you will have 10 minutes. It's 8.44, starting at 8.45, you have 10 minutes. You can enter the rooms right now. Manuel, Maria Elena, are you going to enter the room? Carlos Antonio, Jose Rodrigo, I need you to enter into the breakout rooms, please. Maria Elena, Manuel, 
Can you hear me? Manuel, are you going to enter the breakout room? ¿Qué pasó, Manuel? ¿Pudo ingresar a la sala? Manuel, are you there? Carlos?
Hello, pasaba a ver si necesitaban ayuda. ¿Tienen dudas o preguntas? Uh, no sabemos si le entendimos bien. Era hacer una conversación siempre relacionada con el robo de identidad. Exactly, yes. Oh, Puede no. ser que estén contando una experiencia de eso o lo que ustedes saben de eso o lo que han averiguado de eso. La idea es que ese es el tema de la conversación y que en la conversación incluyan una o dos oraciones de reported speech, ¿verdad? Ah, de reported. Ok. Uh -huh. okay. okay. I will see you in four minutes. Ok, thanks. I vote. Yes. I vote. Hello, everyone. Mm -hmm. Pasa a ver si necesitan ayuda. Tienen duda. Eh, we need more time, teacher. <laughs> yes. only, only, only three lines. Yeah. Tienen tres minutos ahorita. Vamos a regresar a la sesión principal para revisar si todos necesitan tiempo y cuánto más o menos. Y luego se los doy. Ok. Así que mientras bueno. keep advancing. Yes. Hello everyone. Pasa a ver si necesitan ayuda. Tienen dudas, preguntas. Yes, teacher. I made a question on the chat. At the chat. Tell me. So, uh, we didn't get what we have to do. We... It's a conversation, and the topic is identity theft, right? It can be okay. experience that you had, something that you know, something that you read about the topic. La idea es que sea alrededor de ese tema y que incluyan una o dos expresiones usando reported speech. Right? Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, that's all. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. Can you meeting is being recorded. Just 30 seconds before everybody comes back to the session.
Okay, now that we're back in the main session, I need to know how far along are you with the process? Are you done? Have you finished? Or you need at least a few more minutes to complete it? A few. We need a few minutes, please. A few minutes, please. Okay, everyone is on the same page. Then we're gonna go hey. back and I'm gonna open the rooms. You will have five more minutes, okay? Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. okay. Rooms are Thank open. Thank you, teacher. The rooms are open. You can go back right now. Diana Mario is waiting for you in the breakout room. Sorry, we finished it, teacher. But I'm done. You already finished? Yes. And you didn't say anything. <laughs> All right, in that case, just stay here and wait the five minutes again, okay? Or if you want to go to the breakout room and practice the conversation with Mario, that's up to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Chair.
and we should be back in a few seconds. Just waiting for everyone. Okay, before we start with the conversations, we have to do two things. First of all, attendance. So I'm gonna take attendance list and just be ready, please. Ana Raquel Villalta. Present teacher. Thank you. Today is Thursday, 22nd, okay. We have Carlos Antonio Escobar. Claudia Maria Melendez. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Jonathan. Jose Jonathan. Segundo llamado. Okay. Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda Iber. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher. Thank you. María Concepción Cerón. María Elena Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Gabarrete Merino. Present. Thank you. Norma Carolina. Norma Carolina. Olga Marleni. Present teacher. Thank you. Silvia Suleima. Present teacher. Thank you. Tatiana Michel. Present teacher. Thanks. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Thank you. And Christian Atri. Present teacher. Thank you. All right. We're done with the attendance. And the second thing I need to do is to remind you of something, guys. Give me a second. It says here, I'm supposed to remind you of something today, tonight. Bear with me. I'm going to read this in Spanish. Okay, here it is. Um, groups from Monday to Friday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Okay. A los alumnos que están en los grupos asignados de lunes a viernes de 8 p.m. a 10 p.m. Ya estamos en la etapa de reinscripción. Esto lo deben hacer a la hora. <laughs> Esta parte no. <laughs> Yo les tengo que anunciar a ustedes a la hora de la clase. Um, Sí se les solicita que hacer, hacerles el recordatorio a ustedes, ya que de eso depende la reinscripción para que su siguiente módulo pueda iniciar a tiempo. Ahorita hay una fecha de inscripción entre el 4 de octubre límite como máximo para eso y fecha tentativa de inicio sería el 10 de octubre, aunque no sé si eso va a aplicar para nuestro módulo porque nosotros vamos a terminar el 11 de octubre, ¿verdad? ¿right? Por los dos días que se perdieron terminaríamos martes 11 de octubre, así que no creo que haya forma de que iniciemos en la misma semana, pero de, de antemano, si es bueno recordarles, vayan preparando con su, no sé si lo hace recurso romano, recurso humano o contabilidad en sus empresas, vayan preparando el, el papeleo para la reinscripción del siguiente módulo desde ahorita, ¿ok? Just that. Now we're going to check the conversations that you prepared. Let's see, room number one. We have Ana Raquel, Jose Rodrigo, and Olga Marlene. We hear you, please. Rodrigo, are you ready? In Olga? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, okay. Uh, yes. Hi, I have a bad experience with uh, the credit card. Uh, three years ago, someone stole my identity card. What happened with your credit card? I bought a coffee at the coffee store and the next day the, the bank blocked the car as some prevention because they detected uh, 10 tran transactions in one hour for purchase on gaming websites. Uh, but the bank did an investigation and after two months, uh, they reversed my account statement. Ring. I have to take off. Bye. 
Hi, Olga, how are you? What did you talking about with Anna? Uh, Rodrigo, hi. She say had a bad experience with her credit card three years ago. Okay, how did you date solve the problem? She told me that Joven, after blocking her car, investigate, investigated her to see if she was a culpable. Guilty. 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 Oh, that's all teacher. All right. <laughs> you have to let me know when you're finished, people. You make a look better. Let me know. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> no, no worries. Thank you for the effort. You did a great job. It was a fluent conversation. Um, I know we're having sometimes. It's, it's a reality story. <laughs> I noticed. I noticed you told it from the heart, and <laughs> I, I noticed that it was real. Uh, very good job, guys. It was very fluent. Also, I know you were having some internet issues, um, but it it went well. It went really good. Also, I noticed that you used reported speech when it was possible, so that's pretty good. Thank you. Thank you for the effort. Room number one, you did a great job. We're going with room number two right now. We're going to hear Carlos Antonio. No, Carlos was not there. Nelson Gabarrete and Silvia Suleima, please. Hello. Okay. Okay. Hi, Silvia. Hello, Nelson. Is your problem resolved with the bank? Yes. With a very slow investigation, the identify this. The bank say that they will resolve in a period of six to six or nine months, approximately. Yes. It's very slow. Thank you. Only teach. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do it one more time, please? I was trying to, to write the, the reported part. Can you do it again, please? From the beginning, the delinquency, por favor. Okay. Hi, Silvia. Hello, Nelson. Is your problem resolved with the bank? Yes. But it's very slow. Investigate, investigate. The identify death. Silvia? Y no se le escucha a Silvia. Ok, we're going to come back to you guys. Vamos a regresar con ustedes después de que terminen todos los temas grupos. Lo van a hacer una vez más porque no se les, no se les escucha. Entonces, si sí necesitamos ver que sí lo estamos manejando el tema, ¿de acuerdo? Vamos a pasar con los demás rooms y okay. después regresamos con ustedes. Room number four, please. Claudia Meléndez, Juan de Dios y Tatiana Michel. Hey, teacher. Uh, hello, guys. I'm sad because I have been checking my statement, statement from the bank and I asked for my money and they say I bought many things, but I don't recognize the transactions. Do you remember where you used your credit card? I went to the gas station in the morning and I paid with my credit card. 
Did you call to the bank, Tati? Yes, I did. And they told me I have to go to the bank for a personal claim and I don't have enough time. That's all, teacher. <laughs> all right, but that's good. It was a fluent conversation and you used the report of the speech as you were supposed to. So when I get, and, yes. And, and she lost $90. Not, not $1, not $2, $90. <laughs> yes, it's that, that, I that's love how, that money. That if you imagine for people that it, make the- It real yeah. happens. <laughs> I know, I would be crying. <laughs> I cried for one dollar. <laughs> I cannot imagine for ninety dollars. <laughs> I would go crazy. <laughs> okay. Thank you, room number three. They number never, three. they yeah. never regret or no. How the do return. you say they never refunded? The they didn't refund you the money. No, because it was in my debit card, and they told me I I have to. I have to have an insurance mm -hmm. and I didn't pay. have, because it was a debit card, so I. Yeah, one I, never imagines things can happen yes. until they happen. <laughs> oh, that's too bad, but thank you for telling it the story and making it a conversation, very fluent, room number four, good job. We're going with room number five right now. We have Jorge, Manuel, and Marielle. Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, we, we make uh, a conversation when all of us explain your experience or bad experience about a credit card or banks or, or identify thief. Uh, I I want to share with with yours the experience about the Manuel. Uh, Manuel said said he received a phone call from your supposed aunt. Uh, that person is trying to to get the information from Manuel, but. Uh, Manuel noticed that this person trying to be truthful and, but Manuel understood the, 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 understood the, the problem and identified that was a, a claim by the, the thief. In, in that moment, uh, Manuel uh, end the conversation and the the thief uh, doesn't get any information. That was the, the experience that Manuel said. Okay, you used to report this speech throughout the story, very you, good. Yes. You, may I add some information about the, the, the George? Yes, okay. yes. Uh, George uh, told, told me uh, he, uh, George told me I received a call of a number and the person told him that he was gained $5,000. But uh, uh, George identified uh, this uh, problem in he end the conversation uh, because the the number was uh, unknown. All right, good. You also used reported switch to tell a story. Si se fijan, ya no están solo diciendo me oraciones aisladas con reported speech. You're actually telling stories using incorporating reported speech. So very good. Um, we're missing Maria Elena, right? Yes. And mm -hmm. the conversation we had um Jorge said me, uh, told me that someone told me, uh -huh. told me um that someone bought with his credit card and later he received an email 
and he made a claim and two months uh, the bank refund uh, the money two months to refund the money <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> thank you maria very good job you also used reported the speech right he told me that this and this happened that they told him this and this right so very good job thank you room number five you did a great job Let's see room number six right now. We have this, the Arazo, and Wendy Maribel, please. Okay. Hello, Christian. Hello, Wendy. I would like to tell you that someone tried to steal money from me with a text message. Oh, really? Wendy, tell me about your experience with this fraud. Two days ago, I received a text message. The person said, Tell me that was one of my friends and tell me that he had some problems with his bags. So he needs $400 for solve his problem. Really, Wendy, that's a very bad situation. I have a friend that has the same experience and he said me that he brings the money but was a fraud and he told me that he felt very sad. And that's all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, always let me know when you're finished. <laughs> very good, ladies. That was a very fluent conversation. Wendy, good job improving. Christia, also very fluent. Nice. Thank, Thank you. you, ladies. Very good job. You also used reported speech. So, and again, I want to reiterate this. Everyone seems to be using it more naturally, right? Right now, it's not like you're thinking it too much. So very good. And we're going with room number seven right now. Diana Elizabeth and Maria Villela, please. Okay. Hey, Diana, I need your help. Did you have experience buying online, right? Yes, Mario, how can I help you? Yesterday, I bought a city in online e-commerce, but I think the store, they store my information and they do extra charge. Oh no, that's so terrible. Did you call the bank? That happened to me last year and the bank helps me. Yes, I called them. They say they were going to block my credit card. That's great. When that happened to me, they also say that they were not going to charge me anything. So you don't have to worry about it. That's it. All right. <laughs> Very good. You incorporated part of the speech, not only to say or to mention questions, but also in affirmative sentences. So very good job when uh, Diana and Mario, you did it great. Also, you were very confident when you were speaking. So nice. Guys, intonation is very important when we're talking. We don't want to sound like Salvadorians that are learning English. We are, but we don't want to sound like that. We want to sound as natural as possible, right? So something that helps to sound natural is using intonation, right? Showing emotions when you're talking. And most of you are doing it. So pretty good job on that. All right, let's go back to room number two. We have pending Nelson and Silvia. One more time, please. Hello. Hi, Sylvia. Hello, Nelson. Is your problem resolved with the bank? Yes. Book, book is very slow. Investigate the identified death. The bank say that they will resolve in a period of six or nine months, approximately. Hi, Nelson. Okay. Mm, all right. Um, Silvia, instead of they will resolve, because it's reported the speech, so yeah, they would resolve. The pasado they will, would. Okay? Oh, okay. Yes. Other than that, very good job. Thank you for the effort, room number two. Thank you, very good. Okay, we're gonna go to the student's manual. We're gonna go back to the student's manual. Remember what we did yesterday with the yes or no questions in reported the speech? La fuimos repasando una a una. 
We're going to do something similar tonight, but this is not for yes or no questions. This is for information or WH questions, right? So we have, again, just for you to remember how to do the conversion. Solo para que recuerden o refresquen cómo hacer la conversión de un tiempo gramatical para reportarlo en el que, les, en el que está más atrás de eso, right? For example, if I have a sentence that is in simple present, I will switch it back to simple past. The only exception for simple present sentences, remember, if it's something that permanently happens. Si es algo que pasa permanentemente o que pasa a diario, por ejemplo, en ese caso, no es necesario que la cambien a pasado cuando la reporten. Pueden hacerlo, sí, pero no es necesario. That's option, right? So let's see, one, two, three. I need three volunteers to read the boxes, please. Tienen que leer desde el tiempo del que está al que van a pasarlo y los ejemplos. So we need three people, please. Jorge, help me with number one, please. Christian with number two, and Juan de Dios with number three, please. Okay, simple present, simple past, customer. What is the process to return a product? Report it. A customer asks, what the process to return a product was. Customer, when do you expect to pack the package to arrive? Reporter, a customer asks when we expect the package to arrive. Very good, thank you. So we're going to do what we did last night. Jorge is telling us, right? We're going to write a, send a question, an information question, not a yes or no, an information question or a WH question in present, okay? Everyone has to write down right now one question in present, okay? You have two minutes, write in your notebooks one information question in simple present, please, using WH. You have two minutes. Okay, the ones that have finished the question, write, raise your hand, please. Raise your hand so we can give you the sentence. Okay, los que ya tienen su oración, su oración, su pregunta, la información en presente, levanten la mano. Raise your hand, please. Okay, we're going to start, we're going to begin, sorry, with Cristia Eras. Cristia, please read your question in present. Juan de Dios, please change it to reported speech in simple past. Okay. Okay, we only need to uh, whatever simple sentence, right? One question in present, uh -huh. in simple present, but it has to be okay. an information question. Okay, I I only have where mm -hmm. where are the where are the documents? Okay, where are the documents? Because this one is in present, Juan de Dios is going to change it to report the speech using simple past. Okay. This, uh -huh. Juan? She asked me where was the documents. Hmm. Where, where, no sé. Exactly. Where, where, <laughs> yes. no, sorry. Where were the where documents? Were. Yes, where were the documents? Very yes. good. Perfect, that's the transition into past. Noten como la pregunta realmente está ahí, sigue ahí, right? Lo único que para reportarla, la anuncian pasado con el verbo as, y luego 
es verbo to be que el que está acá, él lo cambió pasado. That's all he did, right? If it's in present, I switch it to past. Now, remember, this is not in all the cases. Sometimes if it's in present, you can report it in present. It will depend. It's not necessary. This switch, when the sentence is in present, it's not necessary. But you can do it, okay? Just for you to know. All right? Teacher. And, yes? I have a question. Mm -hmm. But what if 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 we, we don't uh, change the the yeah. the reporting verb are uh, I think uh, um, it is is always uh, a reporting speed. Mm, I'm not sure I understood the question, Manuel. Can you rephrase it, please? Okay. Uh, you you said you told. Uh, it's not necessary change uh, to past. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Word but word this, word. but this is this is a specifically specifically if the original sentence is in simple present. No aplica para los demás tiempos. If it's okay. in present, yes. If you want to switch it back, you do it in past. Así como lo acaba de hacer Juan de Dios. Mm -hmm. But it's not it's not an obligation. It's not mandatory. Si yo no lo quiero cambiar a pasado. Estamos hablando que no voy a cambiar el verbo. El reporting uh -huh. siempre se va a quedar en pasado. Ah, ok. Sí. Uh -huh. uh, 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 ok. Yes. El Usted verbo. va a decir, he asked me, ask me where, where are the documents. The documents. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. O sea, are, are, no, yes. no necesito cambiar. Exactly. Ok. Why, um, and you may be wondering, why this one stays in past. El reporting verb, yes. It's always. Uh -huh. it's, yes. If you, yes, just in case you're wondering, solo si se están preguntando por qué el reporting verb no va, no se va a mantener en presente, porque yes. ese es su trabajo. Su trabajo yes. es decir que si eso no que fuera, voy a reportar ahorita ya está en pasado, right? No, Así que no, se queda ahí. Si no fuera reporting. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. Thank you, Cristia. Juan de Dios, thank you. You're going to read your present question, Juan. Your present question. And Manuel, you have to switch it to report the speech in past, please. Mm -hmm. Juan Díaz, go ahead. What is the method to buy online? Mm -hmm. Easy, Manuel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, when did you ask me uh, what was the no method? Puedo. <laughs> <laughs> Mayúsculas. <laughs> uh, ask me. Just ask me. Uh, what was the method to, to buy online? Is that correct one? Yes, what? that is correct. Yes. Now, do you remember I told you a specific rule regarding this combination? ¿Se acuerdan que yo les leí una regla que la veíamos en las diapositivas? Cuando tienen una combinación como what, el verbo to be, y un objeto directo. You don't have to use the auxiliary. Eso es una, pero no es en este caso. Esa es una regla, sí, pero no es en este caso. Les decía, and I'm going to say this in parentheses in Spanish, ¿ok? Les decía, cuando tienen esa combinación, por ejemplo, what, verbo to be, y objeto directo, ustedes tienen la opción que el sujeto no siempre va a ir después del verbo. En este caso, usted puede haber dicho, Manuel, Juan de Dios asked me what the method to buy online was. O así como la dijo aquí. Las dos opciones. Oh, Lo único okay. que nos dice cuando veo esta combinación es que puedo poner el verbo antes o después del sujeto. Eso es todo. Right? What you is, have options. Uh -huh. What is? Okay. Uh -huh. el, el, el verbo tiene que ir al final. Ajá, el verbo. Puede ir. Usted escoge cualquiera de los dos, está bien. Si usted dijo, así como lo dijo acá, he asked me what was the method, mm -hmm. está correcto. O oh, oh, what, oh, what the method was. Mm -hmm. Teacher, Both please, are please write the other option. Okay, we're going to write it here. Yes. yes. Bear with me, please. What the method to buy online was. Now, let me tell you guys. 
This other option, la última, es la más común. Esta ah, última no. es la más común. En inglés hablado, en inglés en vivo, la última es la versión más común. Ah, ok. Por lo general esta la van a ver en inglés. Ok. A menos que sea alguien muy cuadrado en gramática, va a hablar así. Pero el contrario, en general se habla así. Could you please ah. repeat the, the reason for that, teacher? Yes, I'm going to stop sharing here. And I'm going to show it to you guys. Because I want you to remember this part one moment. <laughs> I don't know why is everything in black. <laughs> Give me one minute. This should not be happening, guys. What's going on with this? <laughs> Green. The screen went black, but it's a presentation. It's it's it was frozen. That's the thing. Let me refresh it. <laughs> green, green, white, no, green. Just a minute, guys. Pantaya, what's the mean? Green. Okay. Green. Here. Green. <laughs> yes, correct. Okay. So here is the first rule. Antes de darles la, la combinación que les acabo de decir, vamos a repetir la regla 1, right? When we report WH questions, the subject comes before the verb, así como lo hizo Manuel, okay? Where are you going? He asked me where I was going. Why is he shouting? He asked me why he was shouting. Normalmente, va a ir antes el sujeto y después el verbo, cuando yo report, right? The exception o oh, no es excepción, sino que me da más opciones. Mm -hmm. Es cuando veo esta combinación en la caji, cajita 4, right? When we report questions que tengan esta combinación específica, who plus the verb to be and an oh, object, okay. what plus the verb to be or an object, which or the verb to be and an object, en ese escenario me abre las puertas para hablar antes o después del verbo o el sujeto. El sujeto puede ir antes o después. Y aquí tienen las dos versiones, ¿ves? Who Aquí está la primera, verb to be, object. Mm -hmm. She asked me who the champion was. She asked me who was the champion, right? Either or, both are correct, okay? No es que una esté mala o otra esté incorrecta, no. Las dos están bien, solo quiero que conozcan sus opciones. Thank Hay you. más de una Thank forma de expresarse. Yes, yeah, for the explanation. Thank you. All right. Now, we're going to go back to the sentences in the whiteboard. So in this case, where were we? All right, so we have, Manuel, have you read your sentence? No, right? Your question. No, thank you. Not yet. Okay, so Manuel, please read your question and Jorge, please switch it to report the speech in past. Okay, teacher, my question is, what is the cost for this cell phone? The cost of this cell phone, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. The reported speech to the question from Manuel is uh, Manuel asked me mm -hmm. what the cause of this cell phone was. Correct. What the cost of the cell phone was. Or what is the other version? Manuel asked me what, mm -hmm. what was the cost of this cell phone. Correct. Yes. What was the cost of this cell phone? One question, teacher. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the question of Manuel, what is the cost of this cell phone? Is the same that that right like what the cost is of this cell phone? Mm -mm. Eso what? no se podría. No. Mm -hmm. no. Uh -huh. When WH, siempre va a WH word first, verb to be second. Mm -hmm. And it's in present. Yeah. Very well. Now, we're going to move forward. And in this case, 
we're going to go with the next example, the next exercise. Give me one minute. I'm going to show you the student's manual again. And we have with this, we're going with the second version, right? Simple past to past perfect. Can you leer la cajita número dos? Me, teacher. Christian, please. Okay, simple past, past perfect. Customer, when did you ship my order? Reported, a customer asked when we had sent his order. Sales agent, which items did you pick from the cata catalog? Uh -huh. With the catalog? Uh -huh. And reported, the sales agent asked which items I had picked from the catalog. Very good. Okay, thank you, Chris. So, Christian is reminding us. Christian nos está recordando. If the question, the information question, if it is in past, I'm going to report it in past perfect. ¿Cuál es el past perfect? Dijimos que lleva el auxiliar had y el verbo en participio. Jorge, I'm still working yes. on the, mat the matrix that we talk about. So, don't worry, it's coming soon. <laughs> I have not forgotten. Okay? So, we're going to do the same right now. Everybody write one WH question in simple past, please. You have two minutes. Please write down one information question in past. If you have your sentence, your question done already, raise your hand. Okay, have you finished the question in simple pass? Raise your hand so we can start practicing, okay? We're gonna start sharing the whiteboard right now. Okay. Los que ya tienen su pregunta en simple pass, levantemos la mano, por favor, y vamos a, vamos a practicar convertirla a past perfect, okay? So, Wendy, please read your question. And Tatiana, please convert it to recorded speech in past perfect. I write. Mm -hmm. Did you sell travel tickets yesterday? Um, no, Wendy, but that's a yes or no question. Esa es una pregunta de sí o no, Wendy. Queremos una de información. Una con WH. Um, did you... Did you... Did you as the yes or no, Wendy? Tiene que llevar una como money? when. When did you sell? Why did you sell? Con WH. Um, de información. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. Solo puede agregarle cualquiera de esas. Por ejemplo, when? ¿por qué vendiste? O ¿cuándo vendiste? Uh -huh. How? No. Ok. So when... Uh -huh. When? When did you sell? When did you sell travel tickets? Perfect. When did you sell travel tickets? Thank you, Wendy. Tatiana, please.
Yo ahí, mira, pues. Yo me eh, she, Sorry. She asked me. She asked me if I if I have. Uh -uh. If it's para pregunta de sí o no. That's for yes or no questions. These are information questions. Y para esto vamos a hacer un paréntesis de nuevo. And it's gonna be in Spanish. Cuando tengo un auxiliar did en la pregunta original en simple past. Me decía la regla que cuando la, la paso reported speech, no necesito poner el auxiliar. De hecho, se omite. Ok. Eh, she asked me, o oh, puede ser también she wanted to know. Sí, también puede ser she wanted to know. El reported verb que ocupa está, es, ajá, está bien. She wanted to know. ¿Cuál es la siguiente pieza de información que va a poner? Lo que ella le preguntó, ¿cuándo? Uh -huh. When. Solo que como no puedo usar el did, lo voy a pasar uh -huh. a pasado perfecto, que sería when I had uh -huh. sold. Acuérdense que pasado perfecto es la combinación del auxiliar had y el verbo en participio. ¿Ok? Entonces lo único que ustedes van a hacer, el reported speech siempre en pasado, eso ya lo saben. Y lo único que van a hacer es agarrar la, la pieza de WH que se les pide, el sujeto y pasado participio. Auxiliar had y el verbo en pasado participio. Ok, that's it. When I had sold travel tickets. Travel tickets. Uh -huh. Correct. Esto es un poquito más tricky, por eso lo estoy explicando en español, porque lleva más pasos, digamos. Entonces... So, para que nos quede más claro, right? Let's see number two. Tatiana, please read your question in past. Maria Elena, please make, make it reported the speech using past perfect. Uh, when did you meet, meet him? Meet okay. Him. When did you meet him? Teacher, a question. Yes, Wendy. Uh, she wants, use wants uh, to know uh, other, other form. Sí, puede ocupar eso o puede usar she asked. Cualquiera de los dos puede usar para introducir. Right, please. She asked. Yes. Mm, María, María va a hacer una con she asked ahorita, ¿verdad María? Yes. Ok. She asked me uh -huh. when uh -huh. uh, CSU is I uh -huh. I I don't know, I don't remember. Uh, ahí lo tiene uh, arriba el ejemplo. When I had I had y el participio de Meet. Meet. Meet, met, met, correct. Yes. <laughs> yes. When I had met him. Uh -huh. All right. She asked me when I had met him. Correct. All right. Let's go with Juan de Dios. Maria Elena, please read your question in past. And Juan de Dios, please read it. Please convert it. Um, what? Time did you finish dinner? What time did you finish dinner? dinner. Okay. One. During mute one. Me teacher. What she uh -huh. she wanted to know uh -huh. what what uh -huh. I had what time 
What time I uh -huh. had dinner? El verbo es finish. Finish. Participe finish. I have finished. Finish uh -huh. Sorry, I have finished dinner. Yes. Ajá, muchachos. Eso fue para participar, ya lo vi que no dando. He wanted yes. in, in, in a case, in other case, she asked. I don't know. Ok, I'm going to say this oh, in Spanish, Wendy. Form. Lo voy a decir en español, Wendy, para que nos quede más claro. Usted puede escoger cualquiera de las dos formas para reportar. Lo que usted dice al principio de la oración es el reportar. Para reportar la pregunta de arriba, usted puede hacerlo usando la expresión ella me preguntó o puede decir ella quería saber. Está diciendo exactamente lo mismo, Wendy. Usted tiene las dos opciones. Cualquiera de las que ocupa está bien. ¿Ok? Uh, okay. Uh -huh. All right. Moving forward. We're going to go with the next version in the student's manual. And that is same as yesterday. Will, future, simple present, simple present, simple future with will. We're going to switch it back to past with would. Okay? The pasado de will is would. So, can you leer la número tres, por favor? Me teacher. Please. Customer, when will my package, my package arrive? Report it. The client asks when the package will arrive. Mm -hmm. Customer, what will be the subtotal for my purchase? Report, a customer asks what the subtotal will be for this purchase. Thank you. Okay, eso es exactamente igual que lo que veíamos ayer con la decisión, ¿no? Solo que esta vez es con preguntas de información. Así que... Please write down one question in future. WH question. Escriba una pregunta de información usando futuro simple con will, por favor. You have two minutes for that. Teacher. Yes. Una consulta. Uh -huh. No entiendo, eh, por ejemplo, por qué, um, si por ejemplo en esta oración está hablando de cuándo va a arribar su paquete, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero al pasarlo al, al report, eh, lo pasa al pasado. No logro entender. Ok. Se lo voy a explicar con un ejemplo en español. Ok. Si usted me dice, Miss, ¿cuándo va a hacer el examen? ¿Ok? Y yo vengo y le cuento a mi supervisor, fíjese que Silvia me preguntó cuándo iba a hacer el examen. Entonces, cuando yo lo reporto, cuando se lo cuento a alguien más, ya lo cuento en pasado. ¿sí? En la auxiliar pasado, Will, en su versión pasada, es Wood. Así como yo dije, usted me dijo, Miss, ¿cuándo va a hacer el examen? Usted me pregunta en pres eh, futuro simple. Pero cuando yo le reporto a alguien más, lo hago en pasado. Silvia me preguntó que cuándo iba a hacer el examen. ¿Ok? Mm, that's, okay. That's, the role. that's basically the reason. Es como el razonamiento por el cual se cambia, Silvia. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Are we ready with the questions in simple future? Let's raise your hand. Levanten la mano los que la tienen, por favor. Y vamos a practicar con esta before we go. Let's see. Okay, Juan de Dios, please help me with the first sentence, your first question in simple future. Uh, <clears throat> when the teacher will finish the class. Mm, when will the teacher? When will the teacher finish the class? Qué directa esa pregunta. <laughs> Indirect. Aquí les entiendes. Bien directo. 
Ah, pero la vacación de septiembre, felicidades. Sí, sí. <laughs> Thank you, Juan. Olga, please change it to reported speech. Okay. Eh, Juan de Dios asked me. Mm -hmm. When the teacher. Mm, auxiliary first. Mm. Mm. When will. Uh -huh. The teacher. The teacher finish the class. Correct. That's perfect. Thank you, Olga. Thank you, Juan. Olga, please read your question in future. And Wendy, you're going okay. to change it to report in speech. Okay. Mm -hmm. When will my lunch delivery? My lunch be delivered. Be delivered. Cuando va a ser entregado, verdad? Sí. When will my lunch be delivered? Wendy, let's change it. Me teacher? Mm -hmm. Pasamos la reporting. When, when the story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wendy, usted la va a cambiar. A reported the speech. Ay, exacto. Empecemos con quién le pregunto. Olga. Olga, okay. Uh -huh. uh, Olga. Olga asked me. Uh -huh. Ask, ask. Emma, uh -huh. ask me. When, uh -huh. when will, uh -huh. when will, uh, when will my lunch? En este caso sería her lunch, porque ella estaba preguntando por su almuerzo de ella. Entonces aquí lo vamos ah, a usar her, ella. suyo de ella. Uh -huh. Her lunch, her lunch. Her lunch. Be, delivered. her lunch be delivered. Uh -huh. She Olga I asked me when it. would her lunch be delivered. Uh -huh. Be delivered. Uh -huh. yes. Básicamente lo único que usted cambió fue el will, lo pasó a would. Y el posesivo, en vez de my, lo pasó a her. Eso fue todo. Ok. Thank you, y Olga. Y no se cambia, no se cambia nada más. No, cuando es con will solo va a cambiar eso, el will. Y si hay un posesivo que es de primera persona, lo paso dependiendo de quién esté hablando. ¿Ok? Ok. Very good. Ya ve que sí. <ríe> Wendy, ahora le hago usted su pregunta, Wendy, por favor. La que, ten, la que tiene en futuro simple. Léala, por favor. Y Manuel, okay. usted hace el report. A ver si, a ver si puedo. <ríe> when, when will you go vacation? When will you go on vacation? On vacation. Uh -huh. Manuel. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Wendy asked me. Uh -huh. uh, when I go. Uh -huh. Go. On vacation. Correct. Very well. <laughs> nice, everyone. You got it. You did it very well, guys. I'm very proud of you guys. All of you are doing it perfect right now. So. ¿Y en español yeah. cómo se le diría esa pregunta en Google? What? Ah, el ejemplo que le decía yo a, a Silvia era, um, por ejemplo, usted me pregunta, Miss, ¿cuándo nos vamos a ir de vacaciones? When will we go on vacation? Y yo le digo a mi supervisor, mis alumnos me preguntaron que cuándo nos íbamos a ir de vacaciones. Ah, nos íbamos. Uh -huh. Yes, like that. Uh -huh. Ya lo cuento en pasado, básicamente. Yes. Aunque, sea, aunque siempre es para el futuro. ¿verdad? Exactly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. That's going to be it for tonight, guys. I'm going to take attendance one more time. Please be ready. And we have Ana Raquel Villalta. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Escobar. Claudia Maria Melendez. Present. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Jorge Humberto Vela. Present. Thank you. Jose Jonathan. Jose Rodrigo Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan de Dios Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda Ibet. 
Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher. Thank you. María Concepción. María Elena Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Gabarrete Merino. Present miss. Thank you. Norma Carolina Villeda. Olga Marlene Gómez. Present. Thank you. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez. Tatiana Michelle Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Thank you. And Christian Natalie Erazo. Here, teacher. Thank you. Um, ayer se quedó quién? Tatiana, ¿verdad? Uh, Wendy. Wendy, usted ya se quedó asesoría la semana pasada, ¿verdad? No. <laughs> no. No. Ok. Ok, entonces se puede quedar ahora Wendy 10 minutos para asesoría. Give, 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 uh, give of my birthday. <laughs> exactly, your birthday present, yeah. Wendy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody else, that's going to be it for tonight. Go rest, recharge, and I will see you tomorrow, guys. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Teacher, no tuvo mi asistencia. Eh, Silvia, sí. Sí, ahí vi que puso present. Yes, teacher. Yes. Thank you, Silvia. Buenas noches. Hi, Wendy, ¿cómo está? Hi, teacher. Sorry, tanto que la molesto y la molesto y la sigo molestando. Pero no, que... niña, no molestia. Para <ríe> nada, créame que no es ninguna molestia. A mí me encanta ayudar a los alumnos. Sobre todo que, Gracias. que pongan el esfuerzo. Si usted me preguntara por molestar, sería otra historia. Usted, usted pregunta porque usted quiere aprender. Bien. Y yo eso lo valoro y obviamente con todo el gusto del mundo le voy a ayudar. Así que dígame, ¿qué quiere repasar ahora? Tiene nueve minutos. <ríe> pues... El, ¿Cómo es que se llama esto? El speech, sigamos con esto porque Vaya. Es que me da guerra. Vaya, vamos a hacer exactamente Vaya. lo mismo que hemos estado haciendo ahorita, Wendy, solo Ajá. que lo vamos a hacer desde las preguntas de sí o no, que es la que vimos ah. ayer. ¿eh? Okay. Se lo voy a mostrar en el manual y ahorita sí se lo puedo explicar todo en español porque ya estamos en tiempo extra. Vaya. Ah, vaya. Para las preguntas de sí o no, Wendy. Uh -huh. Vaya, aquí está. La misma, el mismo hecho, preguntas de sí o no, ¿verdad? La respuesta solo puede ser esa. Entonces usted me pregunta, digamos, en presente. Usted me hace la pregunta en tiempo presente. Miss, ¿hay algún descuento especial de este producto? En presente, ¿verdad? Ajá. ¿Hay algún descuento por ese producto? Yo le voy a decir sí, sí hay o no, no hay. No existe más respuesta. Ajá. Solo esas dos opciones tengo en ese caso, ¿verdad? Ajá. Pero cuando yo le cuente a alguien más, Fíjese que Wendy me preguntó, yo le voy a decir, Wendy me preguntó si había descuento por ese producto. ¿Okay? Usted me preguntó, Miss, ¿hay descuento? Usted me pregunta en presente. Pero cuando sí. yo lo cuente a alguien más, cuando yo lo reporto, lo cuento en pasado. Fíjate que sí. Wendy me preguntó si había algún descuento por ese producto. ¿Ok? Sí. Entonces, ese sí, sí había, ese sí condicional, Wendy, ¿Usted puede ocupar la palabra if o puede ocupar uh -huh. la palabra whether? Mm. ¿No? Y Mira whether el... significa el mismo sí. Exacto, Wendy. Exacto. Uh -huh. Condicional igual que if. Es sí. Sí. Mira, y aquí tiene los dos ejemplos iguales. Mira. El cliente preguntó si había un descuento especial por el producto. Uh, por y si aquí no... dijera if. Es lo mismo, el cliente preguntó si había, es lo mismo exactamente. Solo le dice que usted puede escoger, tiene opciones, básicamente. ¿Ok? Sí. Entonces. Y yo pregunté, is there? Entonces contesto con what. Exacto. Solo lo paso al pasado. Ahora bien, cuando la oración sí. está en presente, Wendy, cuando la pregunta está en presente, uh -huh. si lo voy a cambiar, lo voy a cambiar a pasado. El reported speech. Pero no siempre 
estoy obligada. Cuando, solo en, cuando estas sean presentes, puedo reportarla uh -huh. hasta aquí en pasado y de aquí dejarlo en presente, igual que como está. ¿Ok? Mm, Tengo las dos opciones. Pero, solo pero cuando, eso, cuando solo, es cuando la original, solo cuando la original está en presente, sí. Uh -huh. Si ya está en la original uh -huh. la relación está en pasado o en otro, no, ahí ya no hay opciones. Pero si está ahí en pasado, sí. no es obligación pero, cambiar. Yo, Uh -huh. Usted me puede decir, uh -huh. digamos que yo le pregunto, Wendy, ¿hay algún descuento especial por ese producto? Yo le estoy preguntando en presente. Y usted le dice a su supervisor, usted tiene dos opciones ahí. Lo puede cambiar todo a pasado. Así, mire, supervisor, la misma me preguntó que si había algún descuento. Ahí lo dejo todo en pasado. Uh -huh. O le puede decir, mire, supervisor, la misma me preguntó, hasta ahí en pasado, me preguntó. Que sí hay descuento en eso. Ah, uh -huh. entonces, entonces ahí sería as, eh, there as is whether, a uh -huh, exacto. There is the customer station. asks whether so there is. Estaría a bien. Exacto, está bien, ahí estaría oh. bien. Solo oh. en ese escenario, cuando está en presente, usted tiene la opción uh -huh, de que cambie o no cambie. Perfecto. Uh -huh. Cambia a pasado o solo la primera parte. Vean. Exacto. Solo la primera parte. Ok. Bien. Okay. Vamos con la siguiente. Si la pregunta de sí o no está ya en pasado, cuando a mí me la hacen, a mí me preguntan en pasado, mire, uh -huh. por ejemplo, was I charged for shipping? Fui yo, cobra, me cobraron, digamos, me cobraron por el envío. Was I charged for shipping? En pasado. Entonces, vengo yo y la voy a reportar. El inicio siempre es en pasado, si se fija. Haz, queda, haz, queda. El inicio siempre es pasado. Sí. Pero, acuérdense, yo puedo decir haz, queda, o puedo decir wanted to know. ¿Ok? Wanted el cliente me preguntó o el cliente quería saber. Sí, Cualquiera de las sabe. dos, ¿verdad? Ah, okay. uh -huh. Sí, ese lo, lo aprendí. Uh -huh. no. Tiene las dos opciones para reportar. Usted puede reportar diciendo, él quería saber. O puede reportar diciendo, él me preguntó. Okay. Los dos se aceptan. Ahora bien, ¿qué cambia cuando la oración o la pregunta está en pasado, la original? La que yo reporto, Wendy, va a estar en pasado perfecto. En pasado okay. perfecto quiere decir que después del sí, puede ser if o whether, va a ir siempre, ajá, va a ir siempre, Obviamente el sujeto, ¿verdad? Pero después sí. va a ir el auxiliar had en pasado y un verbo en participio. El auxiliar had y un verbo en participio. ¿Ok? Ok. Y aquí tenemos, mire, la primera pregunta dice, me cobraron por envío. El cliente preguntó si se le había cobrado por envío. ¿Ok? Entonces, se le había cobrado, es había. presente, es pasado ah. perfecto. Ajá. Has been, ah, yeah. había. Uh -huh. Había, es. Uh -huh. Ya no digo, el cliente preguntó si se le cobró. Uh -huh. El cliente preguntó si se le había cobrado. Yeah. Okay. De pasado perfecto, perdón, de pasado simple, lo paso a pasado perfecto. De que has been es había. Uh -huh. Has been es había. Y también, pero eso es porque aquí está el verbo to be. El participio del verbo to be, bien. Pero miren, esta oración no hay verbo to be, mire, solo hay verbo de acción. Did the package right. arrive? Llegó el paquete. El cliente quería saber si el paquete había okay. llegado o no. Had arrived. Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, had arrived. El participio de arrive es arrived. Entonces, el pasado aquí, perfecto. Aquí lo que tenemos que aprender es que es posible tener una tabla de verbos. Exacto, mm. bueno, la tabla de verbos. Que mm. si le soy bien honesta, fuera de cualquier chiste ni nada, sí. a este nivel en el que ustedes están ya, que es nivel 5 o intermedio, Wendy, ustedes sí. por lo menos tienen que tener unos 100 verbos ya de memoria en los tres tiempos cada uno. ¿Ok? Sí, no. Uh -huh. Ahora bien, si nadie se los ha venido pidiendo o no se les ha dicho, pues pueden empezar ahorita. Pues lo que yo no sé si a usted le decía o a alguien, 
tres verbos al día que se memoricen. Tres verbos al día que se memoricen. Cada uno en los tres tiempos, ya en la sí. semana ya tienen 15 sí, yo para el día viernes. Ya hace, ya hace bastante que tengo así en físico una tabla de eso. Pero okay. cada uno se guarda por ti. Uh -huh. Usted no tiene a, a la mano una tabla. Bueno, se puede buscar en internet. Se puede buscar en internet. Y igual les voy, a tratar de, les voy a tratar de compartir algunas que pueden usar mañana. Porque también les quiero compartir como una matrix donde están las la estructuras gramaticales de cada tiempo, Wendy, para que ustedes se puedan ubicar. Porque en sí. teoría ya los conocen, pero como no han tenido quizás mucha práctica, entonces se puede, a veces se nos olvidan las combinaciones. Entonces... Sí. Pero acá, ya sabes, si la oración está en pasado simple, yo la paso a pasado perfecto. ¿Cuál es pasado perfecto? El auxiliar had y el verbo en participio. El participio. Solo eso. Y aquí la básica que ya veíamos, si la oración está en futuro simple con will, lo único que va a cambiar es que la voy a pasar el would a pasar. De ahí, todo igual. El pasado, ¿Qué? El uh -huh. pasado de, de will es would. Ajá, el pasado de will es would. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. Eso es okay. todo lo que, lo que uh -huh. eso es exactamente okay. lo que estamos viendo. Ok, eso va a ser todo entonces por ahora, Wendy, para la asesoría. Cualquier cosa, ya sabe que estoy en la orden, me puede contactar. De acuerdo, vale. cuídese, feliz Muchas cumple, gracias. descanse, gracias. Wendy. Ay, gracias. La veo mañana. Gracias. Adiós.